today they released a new league called home league so i thought we would just take a quick look and check just the overview how it looks like so which is actually gonna feature some of the new missions from warlords in new york maybe not that big of a surprise since the last manhunt was actually in new york as well so halfway park stranded tanker and coney island on challenging then we also have wall street which is on heroic but before we check uh, the missions and that out a little bit more specific we can just quickly go through the rewards here so the first one is the empire state badge and then it's gonna be the same as before with gear crafting cash weapon crafting cash season brand crafting named item cash season recalibration cash and the exotic cash and then of course a unique charm which is the lady liberty looks pretty decent so i think by now most people should be aware that the max stages is 60 to get everything 54 for the exotic cash which probably a lot of people want to get and i even saw it last league that that people complained that i said like yeah wait it's like i can't do stage 10 on everything like this this video is bullshit like it's not easy but keep in mind so 60 stages to max you can get 60 if you finish all of them at stage 10 which is which can definitely be quite rough i don't know the times on the missions here yet but keep in mind you have two weeks so so the only thing you have to do is to get 30 stages at the first week which means you can get five stages on each one is enough and then on next tuesday you would just get 30 more so the way i would recommend you to do it is to just do the missions at least once and get your time so if we look at the pathway park 20 minutes for stage 10 but let's say you manage to get stage 5 which is 35 minutes i think that should be doable and with the missions i would definitely recommend to do it in a group i'm pretty like all the missions with the scaling right now it's really punishing to play it solo so doing a duo at least or just three or four man is definitely what i would recommend so 20 minutes on pathway 20 on stranded tanker as well coney island have 18 and then we have wall street heroic which is gonna be the hardest part i assume here which is 20 minutes but keep in mind here you don't have to get stage 10 right let's say you manage to get stage 4 on pathway park stage 6 on stranded tanker and coney island you actually managed to get stage 7 and on wall street you only managed to get uh, stage 3 which in total would give you 20 stages then you could just do the cleaners members blade and cleaner elite kills and these two everybody can do right it just takes some time but it's pretty but it's pretty easy to do if we look at the cleaners members blade you need to get 140 people on bleed effect you don't have to kill them with the blade you only have to bleed them so i would probably suggest using a stinger hive here maybe the chest piece that makes them bleed seeker mine maybe i honestly think stinger hive is enough for this and grind as much as you want right so yeah i mean that one pretty straightforward to do it's not the most fun to do but if you really want to get stage 10 you can do that right then we have cleaner elite kills which is a total of 250 so that you will get over time as well if you want to focus on that i think like doing open world on heroic probably is a good way to do that so with that said i think most of you the majority of you should be able to get to 30 stages without any issues and then on tuesday you do 30 more stages and there you go like then you have it maxed i'm gonna be doing this live on stream in probably one or two hours after the stream i will just do one i will just do one run each on all these missions and hopefully i can make the stage 10 if i don't do it if i manage to die a lot and fail and get like lower stages i honestly <laughs> i honestly wouldn't care too much because i, I, I because i only want to get to stage 60 next week like there's no need to rush this in my opinion i might upload all of those in one video tomorrow which is gonna be a long video then but at least you could see how i did it but yeah i mean i think that covers uh, most of it that i wanted to cover just a video for you guys that are maybe at work or not at home and can't access the pc you can see how it looks like and just some quick tips here anyway i hope you guys found this video useful and if you are interested in more division 2 videos then make sure to hit that subscribe button see you guys in the next one